everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing some nerdy, geeky crafts. I have some chopsticks that you can get for free at any Chinese restaurant buffet. This one I'm not sure I'll be using because it's kind of messed up. I am going to be making hair chopsticks with the theme of my fandoms. I think I'll just start with making one wand and one lightsaber. What you'll need is a glue gun, chopsticks you don't care about, or if you do have um, hair chopsticks already that you don't care about, those both will work, and acrylic paint. I have brown for my wand. Um, Silver and black for the handle of the lightsaber, and red and green for the color of the lightsaber. One thing I forgot to grab is some paint brushes, so I'll go run and get those. Um, right now my hot glue gun is heating up, and I will try to get a better angle so you can see up close what I'm doing. I'm also gonna grab something to sand down these to make sure there aren't any any slivers sticking out or anything because we don't want that in our head. At least I don't. I don't know if you do. Okay, so now I have my paint brushes. Something to put the paint in. But I'm going to put it aside for now because first we have to work with the hot glue. First I got to decide where the handle is going to be. do is I'll just do like the like the sticking out button and then like the rivets on the bottom but then just paint the rest because that is the only way I'm gonna get it smooth So there is slight variation. I think it looks better like this. But basically that done. Now I just have to sand these down. Alright. Next part is First what I'm going to do is brown. Make sure to get every crevice. I was thinking about doing like a swirly pattern on the top, but then I decided because this is um, supposed to go into my hair, I figured that would make it harder to do that without pulling my hair. So 
I went with this one. of this because it's going to be more intricate work I'm going to use a smaller brush silver I have is gray. Shouldn't need too much of that. So I'm going to use a teeny tiny little brush. Hope this works. second coat for this and then the final part for these. Right. It's still a bit tacky so I'm gonna leave that one. But I think... Okay, so I can do these ones. the next day and they are finally dry. Here they are. I don't know if you can see them very well in this light. Um, it took forever for the wands to dry because of the handle, I think. I'm a 
all the crevices that the paint had to go into. I tried to put my hair in a bun, but my hair's not cooperating today. Um, so I'm just going to put it in a ponytail to show you how it looks in my hair. Let's see, there was some traction because I used acrylic paint. Um, that's the paint I had, so that's what I used. There is some traction again, but I don't mind that. My hair texture is naturally very silky, so anytime I use regular chopsticks, it literally, even if it's in a bun, it literally just fall through. I don't know why, that's just the way my hair is. So I don't mind that too much. I think the thing that I love most about the wand idea is I am always using like pencils or paint brushes or whatever I have around to just quick, like, if my hair is in my way and it's annoying me, I just quick throw it up like that without caring. And, and I could totally see myself doing that with my wand, like at school or in life. So I feel like this is a very natural, I think this makes sense where I would keep my wand, even in the muggle world because, hey, nobody would know that it's a wand, right? <laughs> um, unless my wand was, like, super long, because this isn't very long, and apparently wands tend to be a little bit longer. 11 and a quarter inches long, I think Hermione's is. So that's, that's almost a foot. So I think that would look kind of weird in my hair. But if it was smaller like this, I think that'd be perfect. Um, I also had another thought for, um, instead of using a glue gun, you could use air drying clay, um, to shape it. I mostly think that that would be perfect for the lightsabers because the lightsabers need to be, uh, smooth on the shaft, whereas my wand doesn't need to be. I like that it has that kind of texture because I feel like wands have those kind of textures. I just used what I had. I used free chopsticks that you get from a buffet at, at a Chinese restaurant. Um, so I didn't have to specifically go out and buy anything for this project, which I love. It took maybe an hour to make. It did dry overnight, but that's typical of anything that you paint. So not too surprised. Overall, I am very happy with them. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Knox.